building something historic and exciting in the works would be the first HBCU gymnastics program. What would that mean, not only for Grambling, not only for the university, not only for this community, but for HBCU schools in general? Well, I think it'd be huge. I think it's transformative. Uh, I think it's game changing. Um, I, I think it gives uh, n not only black and brown girls, but all women an opportunity to uh, utilize gymnastics uh, uh, through sport, right? It gives them an opportunity uh, to not have to um, you know, choose something else uh, as, as a means to, to, to further their education at the HBCU level. Uh, we're taking a very aggressive approach uh, in, in performing an exploratory study. But I'll tell you this, I think uh, for us, and, and, and the president I think said it earlier, I'm a big planner, right? Uh, right now we sponsor 15 sports and, and the, the Southwestern Athletics Conference minimum, maximum amount is 18. And so we've got an aggressive plan to bring on men's tennis first, uh, as well as men's and women's golf. And then we're gonna launch exploratory studies and not just gymnastics, uh, but two other sports that I'll, I'll name later as well. And so um, that gives us an opportunity to give all um, equal access, regardless of sport. I know uh, specific to gymnastics, we've got a lot of, uh, through my research and my discussions with uh, Darren over at Brown Girls, um, you know, we've got a lot of young ladies who choose other uh, avenues to, 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 to be able to procure college scholarships, cheer for example. And so now if we're able to provide that platform, um, they don't have to do that. And so uh, part of that exploratory phase is being able to gauge partnerships within the area, right? Being able to gauge brown girls do gymnastics to be able to help us with additional resources. Uh, and then being able to put together an aggressive plan to understand the bottom line. Of course, there are, there are, there are, there are 12 scholarships, full scholarships involved on the women's side. And so once we're able to put that plan in place, uh, uh, obviously, uh, sometime at the beginning of the year when we launch our strategic initiative for 2022 to 2027, uh, we'll outline uh, a definite timeline uh, where we'll either, you know, decide to, 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 to bring about uh, gymnastics and, and, and those other items as it relates to those exploratory studies uh, or how we're going to move forward. So very exciting time. Uh, Brown Girls Do Gymnastics has, has been a great partner for us. Uh, we're looking at uh, doing some additional things moving forward uh, in anticipation of, of, of the exploratory study and being able to gauge uh, the gymnastics community. And so hopefully it works out. I'm looking forward to it. But I think overall uh, it would be a great transformational experience for us to be able to add uh, women's gymnastics along with those other sports to Grambling Athletics. Yeah, you talked about all of these new programs that you're exploring bringing to Grambling. How does it feel to be part of a university that's at the forefront of change and really taking initiative to to make it better and to progress the future? Well, it feels great. Um, you know, it also feels great to be able to pick up the phone and, and, and call your president or be able to uh, sit with your president and, and you're thinking big and he's thinking bigger, right? And so, uh, you know, that in and of itself kind of speaks to the, the trajectory and the direction uh, that, that not only Grambling State Athletics is getting ready to, to, to undergo, but Grambling State University is getting ready uh, to undergo. You know, whenever we talk, we talk about the, the, the first and only digital library. We talk about the cybersecurity. We talk about our new PhD program uh, in criminal justice administration. Um, and we talk about G-Man football. We talk about the, the, the world famed. And so we've got so many positive things going on. Uh, but to be able to think big and, and be challenged to think bigger uh, is certainly refreshing for me. And so that gives us an opportunity to really blow it out of the water with some of the plans that we have moving forward.